Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now this week I wanted to talk to you about how you might just make your Wi-Fi a little bit faster. Many people have got broadband or they've upgraded to a faster broadband and they're finding it's not as quick as they thought it would be. And there are things that we can do to actually improve on that and actually check what speed you're getting. So things that might affect it are things that might be out of your hands, such as how far away you are from the um, exchange, your telephone exchange, can affect the speed that you're getting on your broadband. The further you are away, the slower it is. But today with cable, that's not nearly as bad as it used to be. The other thing is something called contention ratio, which is affected by how many people are online at the same time as you within a certain area, because you're kind of sharing your bandwidth with those people. And you might want to just check to see whether or not it's going faster during the day or night. Many people are home at night and they think their broadband is slow, but then if they were to check it during the day or first thing in the morning, they might actually find that it's quick. So if it is a bit slow, do try and check it out at a different time and see what happens. The other thing is it could just be simply one site that you're going to. If other sites are okay, then it's simply that site. They may have a lot of traffic using up the bandwidth, or it could be that they just don't have a very fast connection themselves. So those are just some things that can affect it. Other things that affect it are devices such as cordless phones like this. They work on similar channels and therefore they interfere a bit with what you're doing. So you need to have a look at that as well. Maybe move your routers and your cordless phone, the base station, a bit further apart might actually help. If you've got microwave ovens, when you're using the microwave, it might actually affect it as well. They all work on a similar frequency, so you might notice that if the microwave goes on, you lose your signal or it goes really slow. But probably the one that affects it the most are your neighbours who've also got wireless routers. So many people today have got wireless routers, and let's face it, that probably has a big impact. There's only a limited amount of channels, and if they're using the same channels, it can interfere with yours and slow it down. And we're going to take a look at how you can determine what channels are being used by other people and how you can change those channels. And I have done that myself and actually found that it does make a difference. Now, one thing you can do to see whether or not it's your Wi-Fi or whether or not it's the connection that you've actually got to your exchange is to actually plug your computer in directly to your router using a cable. And that cable will have come with the router or should have come with the router. Plug it in and we're going to use something called speedtest.net to determine whether or not it's actually going a lot faster when you've got the cable plugged in. And that was something that I did find, is that it was faster when it was plugged in and I tinkered around with my channels to do exactly that to fix it. So what I'm going to do first now is that I am using wireless and I'm going to use speedtest.net which is a website, works pretty much on any browser and any computer system. So let's just quickly check that out. So I'm just going into speedtest.net, just simply type it in, you could google it if you like and it comes up here. Now I'm using BT Infinity 2 which is quite fast but what I'm going to do is as soon as it's ready and it is loading, you'll see at the top here it says begin test. I'm going to click on that and there are three things that are important. One of them is the ping, which is the speed that when it sends a signal how quickly it comes back and you can see on mine it's come up as 33 milliseconds. There's also the download speed of which I'm getting about 22, which is the speed that information is coming to you and you've got the upload speed which is the speed that you can upload, send files out. And there is usually a difference in the speed. Normally your download is faster than your upload and it's designed like that because you tend to be downloading more than you're uploading. So you only tend to upload little bits unless you're uploading lots of files to YouTube or something like that. So you can see I've got three things there. It's not too bad, it's quite fast and I might test again at a different point in the day just to see what it's like. So that's speedtest.net and that's telling me my speed and I might be happy with that, although that might not be the speed that I've been told because I might be told that I could get up to 50 megabits per second. That's really fast. And with that, what I want to do is be able to see, well, how can I get it closer? And as I said, with the cable plugged in, you probably get a faster speed. So now what you'd want to do is try it with wireless and see what it's like there. So how do you change it so that you can actually change the different channels and how do you know what channels are actually interfering? Well, to do this you need a program. If you're on a Mac, 
there's something called iStumbler and you can just Google that to find it. That's with the letter I, Stumbler. And if you're using Windows, you would want to use something called NetStumbler, which is found at www.stumbler.net. Both of them work in exactly the same way in that they will find existing networks that you've got or other people have got and you can see what channels they're on. So I'm just going to switch to that and you will see that I've got quite a few here and you could have more. And you'll see that they have over here the network name and you have over here the signal strength, the level and then you've got the percentage. You've got noise which I'm not too worried about here and I've got a channel and you can see that there are a number of channels that are the same. So if I'm this one up at the top here you'll see that I'm on channel 1 then somebody else with Virgin Media does and so on down this list and you see there's quite a few and there are others here as well you'll see that 6 and 11 are also two that stand out as well being used by the people and those are common channels 1, 6 and 11 although you don't have to exclusively use those but those are usually your first choices. So what I want to do now is actually change my channel to see if that will make a difference. So what I need to do now is to get into my router and I will have been given an address by whoever provided my router which is usually the broadband provider and I will get into this point and then what I need to do is go to my settings which is over here and then I just need to type in my password to get in here and yours will probably be a similar sort of setup. Each router is a little bit different. Conveniently for me, I've got change the wireless network channel to avoid interference. It's got it right there, so I'm just going to click on that and you'll see down the bottom here I've got wireless channel and I can choose anywhere between 1 and 13. So if I'm on channel 1 now, what I might do is I might try channel 6, that would be my next choice. If that doesn't make a difference then I would try channel 11. You might find it makes a difference, it goes faster, but you want to try the next channel to see if you get even more speed out of it. If those three aren't really making a difference, well it could indicate that's the fastest you're going to get. You could also then try any one of the other channels going through them one by one just until you get the best performance out of your router and your wireless. Now, the thing that you must make sure is that you do actually have a network cable just in case you change channels and for some reason you can't connect back. At least you can plug the computer back in to your router and access this page just simply by going to and changing back to a channel you know that does work. By the way, when you change channels, all your devices, whether the computer, laptop, wireless printer, iPhone, iPad, Android device, whatever it is, will automatically reconnect. They automatically scan to find that channel again. So this is probably the one thing that does affect your speed. And you also might find that a channel might actually give you a bigger range as well. So it's definitely worth a try. So don't forget, these are things that you can try. Don't forget to have a cable handy so you can plug in and test the speed with that and also just in case you need to get back into the router if the wireless fails and always a good idea anyway. Use speedtest.net and you can actually see what speeds you're getting and you can also check at particular times of the day or night as well to see whether or not it is affected by that. One of the reasons that nighttime is worse is because so many people are gaming online and downloading movies it does actually use up a lot of bandwidth so first thing in the morning you probably find that those gamers are very tired and they're not online. Well I don't know how true that is, they're probably up all the time. But anyway, so you might want to just check that out. So you've got speed test, time of day might actually be an indicator as to what's going on with your connection and don't forget you can use NetStumbler if you're using Windows or iStumbler if you're using the Mac to see what channels are actually being used there. I'm going to go away and change mine and check my wireless settings again and just see what sort of speed I'm getting. Thanks for watching, see you next week.